Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the design parameters, something more fun for me, <laughs> for uh, our ACDA10 and our ACDA12 units. So I'm very proud of these units. They're the most powerful low frequency absorption technology ever created by anyone, ever. So we're, we're really proud of, of the um, absorption we get for these units, especially with frequencies below 200 cycles. So Let's walk through a little bit about my reasoning and why I came up with these two different products and the two frequency ranges of absorption. I use pure science. I use data, which we don't have a lot of today sometimes. You know, people speculate, they have opinions, and it drives me crazy most of the time. But this, these two technologies and the reason for their success and the reason they work so well is because they're based on hard data. We have a saying at, at our company, facts are always friendly. Let's stick to the facts. Let's keep away from opinions. Let's keep away from speculation. Let's look at the facts. So I think today, I'm not sure of the number count, but we're about 145 built measured rooms over the last 12 years. So we've even look, we've looked at size, volume, vibration signatures of the construction methodology we used in the walls. So that's how come we can give you really accurate barrier data. So when you're building a room and you have noise issues, we can keep the noise in, we can keep the external ambient noise out. So we have all of those datas in, or all of those pieces of information in our database. So what did we see? When we started measuring these rooms and most of our rooms were measured back in the 90s with 18 microphones. We didn't use this one microphone thing today. Of course, we didn't have the processing speeds and the storage that we have today. We used to record the data and it would be in the computer and then we'd put, push the processing button and go to lunch. By the time we come back, we had our, our real hardcore data. But today it's pretty instantaneous. Not too impressed though with some of the measurement methods that are used. This one microphone thing, I don't know if I accept it or not yet for accuracy, but time will tell on that. So what did we see? If you look at the data, we saw two areas of concern. We saw 30 to 200 and we saw 30 to 50. Of all the rooms, those two frequency response ranges stood out. And what was our room size? Well, our smallest room is 10, 10, 10. Our largest room is 40 by 40 by 40. So those are the two extremes. And then everything else falls in between. So we have 143 rooms in between these dimensions. So we probably have your room in our database. So we noticed 30 to 200. We noticed 30 to 50. So I took it upon myself to go after that broadband range, 30 to 200, and then we even improved upon it a little bit more. By adding our foam on the face of the unit, you can push the absorption up to 6,500 cycles. Think about that. 30 to 6,500 cycles. Nice, smooth absorption. Linear, with an average coefficient absorption rate of 25% from 30 to 200, and just as smooth from 200 to 6,500. So a really good low frequency broadband, middle frequency, high frequency absorber, okay? What do we notice with the ACDA12 was that the 30 to 50 range had to be really powerful because we noticed in our database that we were having plus six to plus 19 dB gains over baseline. That's that big boom you hear. That's that bass boom that you hear. So we had to have a really powerful sponge to get this plus six to plus 19. We had a little more flexibility with the 10 with plus four to plus 12, which is what we went after. So didn't get it the first time, took 12 times, took about six years and millions of dollars. So that's the commitment we made to go after these problems. Okay, and we got it, we, we, we did it. Pound for pound, square foot for square foot, you can't beat us, we're plus 1.5 to 2 dB attenuation for every eight square feet of surface area in our products. 
So this is how we went after these two frequency groupings. And you'll find these problem areas, 30 to 200 and 30 to 50 represented in all small rooms. So I hope this helps a little bit. A lot of people say, well, how did you do it? How did you come up with it? We use science, okay? We created technology to deal with actual data that's in rooms. And that's why we have such great results. And that's why people are so happy with the low end of their rooms now. So design parameters for the ACDA 10 and ACDA 12. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.